Hello, welcome. Today we're going to be going through the Viking Air Comfort chair bed. So a few points with this chair bed and a few tips we'll cover today. As the name suggests, the Viking Air Comfort chair bed is air pressure relief. So we have got air cushions through the back seat and calf rest of this chair. And with the chair bed, there is multiple positions so that we can actually tilt the resident back and recline. And then also we can have the calf rest to give us a lying position for the resident. These positions are multiple adjustment with the gas struts. So you can stop this anywhere that's comfortable. One tip with this chair, when you are reclining the resident, is do use the seat tilt first, the right hand lever, to tilt back, and then use the back recline, the left hand lever. The reason for this is to help prevent shear. Also, if we were to recline first, we are at risk of the residents sliding out of the chair. With this chair, there is the wings on the sides that lower. So take the pressure off the wing, release the knob, and then lower this down. Now this can go right down, and the shoulder wing can go down four transfers in. And for these transfers in, from a full body hoist, I would suggest that you have the chair in a slight tilt. This means your resident will come in easily for best positioning. You can also then have the wings slightly out. This allows a bit more room either side of the resident for greater comfort. When we're manoeuvring this chair around your facility, there are two points I would suggest. Number one is you utilize the track lock, so the green lever on the front wheel. That will hold that wheel straight and allow you to push the chair in a straight line. The other, as I've got it here, in a slight tilt, helps spread the weight over the chair base and makes it much easier to manoeuvre. Thank you. If you've got any further questions on the Air Comfort chair bed, please feel free to reach out to one of the team at Kubro.